This is a Suzuki three cylinder F six A engine for a new bowl or hovercraft. And it's uh, fairly recent, it's about eight years old, I'm thinking. Uh, you can judge certain things like, uh, like that. The front of it has got a little rust on the uh, alternator. I mean, it's not bad, but uh, you can see a little bit of age. But all the pulleys and the belts are in good order. And uh, looking like they were minimum wear on them. And uh, right now we just got out of the shop. We started it up today in the shop and it ran really good and I bought it. And, uh, you know, they just cut off the hoses and uh, leave a little bit to work with. Okay, come over on this end. Lay it on top here. It's three cylinder. So you got triple coil, which is really good. It means a nice strong spark. And they got all the wiring and all that crap and... Yeah, look at the wires. Look at the wires. Look at the wires. I wonder where they go. I wonder where they go. Well, what you do is you just cut them off and throw them away. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, yeah, you got to do a wiring, uh, new, new wiring harness. Basically, you figure out what you need to get things running. You got a minimum amount of electronics here. Uh, nothing serious. Uh, easy to hook up. Now, right here, you got the air cleaner. Um, yeah, the air cleaner for the fuel injection. This is the F6A fuel injected turbo 63 horsepower three cylinder engine it's <laughs> another way of looking at it uh, you know I've been admiring buying one of these engines for a long time now and there's a considerable amount of them here in Thailand and throughout the world because it's a Kia car engine uh, what the Japanese uh, government did was they said we're gonna put a tax on uh, cars and engines and if you go above a certain CC uh, or a certain size of body style, well, there's going to be more taxes. So what that meant uh, for the automakers is, is they, they limit the size as well, because they have to comply. And then they take a little engine, like a little three-cylinder engine, and they get 63 horsepower out of it. That's quite a bit, you know, for a little three-cylinder engine. Just to let you know, that's 657 cc's. I got 13 horsepower Honda engine over there that's basically to run construction equipment, it's only 13 horsepower. It's 489 cc's. So between 489 and uh, 657, the difference is 13 horsepower to 63 horsepower, which means that this is a little power plant. And it could power a generator set and very, very easily. In fact, they use that's what they use these for. They use these for anything when they need a nice little engine that puts out a lot of power. And that's what it's for. And uh, you can see this is part of the uh, turbo system. Here's the intercooler. This is the F6A intercooler. And the turbo unit, gosh, I wish I could show it to you. It looks pretty cool. But it's right underneath the seat shield. And when they started it out, man, you, you hit the throttle, you heard that turbo kick in, and it goes, Whoa! Now, the other use that I was talking about is using this engine for hovercraft. Um, that's very attractive as well because if you use it for a hovercraft you get rid of this big transmission in the back which which makes up for half the size almost in length and when you cut that off uh, you're talking way back to here from here to here to left you cut off so that leaves you this to be the engine and this is all the engine is right here so once you take all that transmission off and get all these wires and uh, all the hoses uh, you know, figured out some way and I mean, then, then you're all set and uh, you just got a little uh, small light engine for a hovercraft because you're throwing away the heavy parts 
you'll have to re rework uh, a plate for the starter. I'll come to think of it, you're going to need it off to here. You're just going to get rid of you're going to get rid of this part. Uh, this housing you're going to save, and then uh, there's a plate that you can. Uh, actually, I saw a plate in a store once, in a, in a store, but in a uh, auto yard here, where you can buy a plate that this size, where you can get to go and mount this starter on somehow. Uh, that can be easily done, just amount of spacers and a little bit of metal work. And so then there, you still got the starter sticking out. So from here on, you got to put out a uh, an extender and run a big propeller here. I would say 48 to 50 inch uh, hovercraft propeller on this guy. The Suzuki's is always ranked up there high among uh, the best. Uh, you come down, you got your Diatsu engine. Diatsu has a cast uh, cast iron cylinder, and uh, that makes it heavier than this engine, which has an aluminum cylinder. I mean, I've done the research. Uh, there's a there's a uh, magazine called Auto Speed. It's an e-magazine, and Auto Speed has just about any information you want in the Kia car engines. And again, the Kia car engines is engines that were limited by the specifications for CC, and so they uh, they soup these engines out to get as much horsepower as they could out of them. And this is the factory doing it. See, this is what happens when the factory does something like that. You get something that really performs. And not something that just somebody's going to soup up and buy parts and weld up parts and... Oh, I made it faster, I made it faster. This is what the factory does to make them faster. It's a wonderful engine. I'm looking forward to using this in a boat or hovercraft. Either way, uh, you can't go wrong. I'll buy more of these. I'll buy the transmission that's a uh, standard transmission as well. I put away. I put away. Ah, I don't know ภาษาตะกิดเรียกว่าอะไรคล้ายๆอ่ะแบนานาเลยอ่าแบนานาอันนี้เฮ้ยอันนี้ดินกลับไปอีกหน่อยดินจะมาปลุกเดี๋ย